Hey everyone, how you doing today? Um, I promised to make this video a while back, but um, the uh, situations that I were in didn't allow it. So uh, today I am going to make it on how to do uh, J2534 programming for Nissans, which can be a real uh, pain. And I'll explain to you why. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a Nissan uh, J2534, the nurse reprogramming. Um, Nissan charges $270 for this, but there are some places online you can download it, and it's a standalone program, so it will work. Um, just saying, and then uh, you are going to have to pay $19 for the calibration files. Um, what I'm doing today is a 2014 Versa. Um, we aren't going to uh, open up this program quite yet, so what you can do too... Um, I already got my browser open here, is you can actually go to the NASTF and register for free. Um, this would also be where you get your locksmith ID, but they have free registration which gives you all the websites for the OEM uh, J2534 programming. Um, it's pretty cool so you don't have to Google search it, but anyways, uh, we're going to go to uh, parts.nissanusa.com and what you want to do is you want to get the correct part number and here's where Nissan gets confusing um, I have a brand new um, transmission control module for this Versa and you can see the old one um, the part numbers there um, then there's a the part number in the catalog so you can look it up most of the time Nissan will work but sometimes they they get a little tricky um, so I have the part number that I got with the VIN number for this car so next what we're going to do is we're going to log into our free account which you need to register um, for um, Nissan forward slash techinfo.com and uh, once you register uh, you have access to buy the files um, and it also shows you this is what I've talked about a lot is the uh, OEM endorsed um, pass through devices and Nissan has a small list here you can see the Bosch that I love to use is on the list and uh, Drew Technologies the car deck um, and this is where the Autel um, one that I tell everybody to stay away from uh, comes into play is it's not endorsed by any of the OEMs so if you need tech support they're really not going to help you out um, the pass-through pro 2 from snap-on and the um, the Bosch uh, just the J2534 the flasher pro I believe it's called they're the same as the the car deck they're made by Drew Technologies, so they work fine I can vouch for that and down below you're gonna see the link um, where you could purchase the Nissan software like I said I already have it I downloaded it from a different website and I've used it a thousand times but um, what you're gonna do then is you're gonna go to uh, blank programming and if you notice uh, this particular car it's kind of tricky um, I've already brought up the files that I need to download but if here's where it says enter the first five digits of your part number and the new part number I have for this one is a 310F. It's the top number there, and it won't come up. But if you were to look at the old TCM and flip it over, there's a second part number there, which also um, goes into this category, and it comes up, and it brings up all the different calibrations. Now, on this one, you can't... Um, usually, it'll just bring up one or two. Uh, you can also call to if you have any problems finding the part number for the calibrations but on this one here I know which one I'm after I went through with my scanner and I read the calibrations um, even then the 3 B E O B it doesn't match the numbers on the back but usually when they change an A to a B it's an updated um, and this this really doesn't have nothing to do with the flashing this is just getting a hold of your calibration files now I went into mine and I know that um, it does have the calibration. I ran a uh, live data on the calibration with my scanner. It's a 00E0. So this is the one I'm after. I'm going to click on it. Um, it's telling me the part number, which, what should be the new part number, even though the part number in the catalog is different than that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit submit, and it's going to show me the 1995. And then I'm going to go to purchase. Uh, make sure my name doesn't pop up. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and it's going to download it. And once I have it downloaded, I'm going to show you basically the programming portion from there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out, buy this, and then I'll show you what to do with the downloaded files. 
Okay, I went ahead and checked out and I bought the files. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the ECU downloads page and it's gonna show you your recent files. And then I'm gonna hit download. Then I'm gonna save it. And then once it's done downloading, I'm going to move it over to my desktop. And I put it up on my desktop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder here. So we're done with the online, but I'm just going to minimize it. And I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm just going to name it Versa for what I'm doing today. And then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to extract all of these files into the folder called Versa. So we should have, now you can run the auto unpacker, but what we're after is the, the data file and the CSV file. Um, the unpacker creates problems when you use it so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my computer drive C program files x86 and then we're gonna find Nissan J2534 reprogramming reprogramming data and then I am going to empty this folder. Just delete everything in the folder. These are my old files from the last flash I did. Now I'm gonna open up the file here and I'm gonna copy these into that folder. Application data, reprogramming data. Then we're gonna close it out. I'm gonna go back to my computer I'm just going to double check it. You don't have to do this step, but uh, let me maximize this. Back down here, programming files. Bear with me. I'm trying to walk through and be thorough with it. Nissan reprogramming, application data, reprogramming, da reprogramming data, sorry. And we should have the data and the CBS files inside there. Okay, once you have your files inside that folder, we're ready to start programming. So I'm going to get over to the car. I'm going to get my laptop in there. We're going to plug in uh, the J2534 and uh, go from there. So once again, download your files, extract them to their own folder, and then move them to Nissan. The under the program files, Nissan reprogramming data. Empty the folder and move them over to there. It does come with an unpacker, but when you use that unpacker, it always puts extra files that you don't need in that folder and your flashes will fail. So if you just put it in a side folder, move it over from there, um, when we open the program, when we have the pass-through hooked up, it's gonna recognize the car and it's automatically gonna program those files into the car. So I'm gonna get my pass-through ready. We're gonna go over to the car, get out of the van here, and we're gonna get it programmed. Okay, I got my Flasher Pro hooked up. Make sure you have no cables in the way to where they can get unplugged. And we're gonna go ahead and open up the Nissan software. It's gonna tell me that the last one failed because I didn't have my pass-through plugged in. We're gonna hit accept. Then select your device. I have many different devices, but I'm gonna use the Bosch on this one. We're gonna select programming, transmission. We're gonna give it a few minutes. It's gonna search for the files that are in the folder. Please select the appropriate part number and it should give me a list of part numbers. We are looking for the 31036 3BE0B 
calibration 00E0 so select your part number hit next It does take a few minutes to run through. It's going to verify everything and then it'll start the flash. All right, that took a few minutes um, and now we're at the point here where it's going to say uh, to start programming the ECU it has my part number 31036 3B E0B um, and then it found the data file in the folder so we're going to go ahead and hit start it's going to start programming um, I'm going to let it run through and then when it completes I'll show you that it's completed all right so that just completed now it's telling me to turn the ignition off for a minute or more which we're going to do and then we're going to wait. I'll be right back in about 45 seconds. Alright, let's turn this ignition back on. We're going to hit OK. And it's going to tell us that the programming is complete. Uh, it's that simple. Um, it's a little frustrating, you know, but once I get back uh, to the house, I'm going to add to this video. I'm going to write it down. We'll have a little recap and I'll uh, make sure you guys know the steps. Um, start to finish on what you need to do uh, in case I miss something on the video um, but Nissan's you know they will give you fit sometimes uh, like this one here I had to do a little bit of research because the actual part number isn't the calibration number but uh, most of them they are so when I get back to the house we'll write it down we'll go back over a little recap and uh, hope it helps you out all right so I'm back here at the house um, like I said I'm gonna do another uh, walkthrough here I wrote everything down. Um, I'm going to just kind of recap what it takes to program these Nissans and uh, the steps. I have it written down here on a piece of paper. And also, um, I'm going to start a series on diagnostics. I've had a lot of people email me saying that some of the stuff is kind of advanced and they're really looking for somebody to, uh, to show them like uh, entry level diagnostics and uh, how to work on cars. So, um, I'm going to try not to flood um, all my videos with, with stuff that might not be helpful to some of the more advanced people looking for programming, but I am going to do some stuff on fuel trims and engine management system management systems and stuff like that. But uh, So I apologize if, if I do put out some videos that um, you subscribe to me and it might be something that you've already known for quite a while, but I did make some promises. But uh, I'm going to pause this here. We'll get to this list and we'll just recap uh, what we did today. All right, so here's just a little recap um, of what I have for the Nissan and the steps that it takes. So the first thing you're going to do, um, obviously, is install the NURSE software, the Nissan J2534 programming. Um, like I said, Nissan charges $270 uh, for your first time download of that. But there's a couple forums, a couple websites where you can download it. And it is a standalone program, so... You can install it, and as long as you have the calibration files, it'll run. Um, I know I shouldn't probably say that, but uh, yeah. So basically, um, install that, and then you're going to install the drivers for your J-Box, if you haven't already, or your VCI. Um, make sure that's installed, and you can plug it in, uh, not into a car, and open the NERSE software just to see if it um, recognizes it. Make sure it's all set up uh, beforehand. Then you're going to go to Nissan techinfo.com free registration doesn't cost you anything you just put in your email address name stuff like that uh, register for free because you're going to need that to get your files and then what you're going to do next um, is you're going to find the part number or the calibration id for the module you want to install or reprogram um, you can use your scanner 
to get the part number. Uh, sometimes that's the best way to do it because the catalog doesn't exactly give you the right one like we went over. But you're always best to go to um, parts dot nissanusa.com and you can search by the VIN and module and get the part number and then uh, once you do that the next step is uh, purchase the files and I brought it up here on my desktop and remember you're gonna go this is nissantechinfo.com and then you're just gonna kick or click on the J2534 reprogramming link and then uh, you're gonna find the calibration files either under reprogramming or programming and then if you don't know if your pass through will work or not, you can always go to the um, the validation and double check. But remember, you know, if it's a blank module, you're obviously going to do blank programming and it's going to give you the first five numbers. And then if those are correct, the second box will pop up. If you don't get the second box to pop up, you have the wrong part number. Same goes for reprogramming. So um, and then remember, once you have your files, you can go to the ECU file downloads page and that's where you download them um, so purchase your files that you need that's the next step at uh, that's at nissantechinfo.com and then uh, download them and what I do is like I showed you earlier create a new folder on the desktop uh, usually I'll name it the name of the car that I'm working on and then um, I uh, will put the files into a folder on my C drive when I'm done just in case because you may run across the same car and save yourself 20 bucks trying to download it but create a new folder and then extract the files to that folder so you have the files you downloaded in a zip format extract them to your new folder then you're gonna go to your computer you're gonna go to C your main drive program files x86 because it's 32-bit um, the nurse program and then Nissan application data reprogram data and erase everything in that folder you want that folder completely empty that's the number one thing that will create problems for you is erase that folder and then um, go back to the folder you created move the extracted files back into that folder so you just erase the folder reprogramming data and then your new folder you created just take the files you extracted put them in there and then from there you just plug in your JBox or your VCI into your laptop and then the vehicle then open the nurse program otherwise you're gonna keep getting errors if you try to open it before your uh, pass through and the car is plugged in the nurse program always will give you an error so make sure they're both plugged in and then you're gonna select programming or reprogramming if that's what you're going to do it'll bring up the list like we showed you earlier and then uh, pick which module to program and once you do that sometimes it will make you reselect the part number more often than not so go back to the file that you downloaded your calibration file and that's going to be your part number so when it says to select the part number select it and um, if you're getting an error at this point it's because the part number you're selecting doesn't match the files that you downloaded so um, those are some of the biggest errors in the Nissan why people get frustrated is because they forget to empty this folder um, or their part numbers don't match um, so make sure you know and you can always call Nissan and ask for help if you um, want to view the service bulletins or anything on a car they charge you twenty dollars to do that so go online um, google them you can always find them uh, for instance I just did an Ultima the other day that has the mass airflow code it's notorious um, on Nissan's on this certain year Altima you'll start getting a, a mass airflow sensor code but um, anyways I wasn't able to view the uh, the bulletin but actually I found it in Identifix so we are alright but if I wanted to view that bulletin they charge you another twenty dollars so um, but that's all there is to it as long as you select the right part number uh, that matches the downloaded files then it's going to recognize them and it's going to run through and it's going to program and if for some reason uh, the programming isn't right or the module isn't right or something you downloaded isn't right uh, it'll say programming and it'll never go past 98 percent and it'll kick you out an error so if you're getting an error at 98 percent programmed you have either the wrong part number selected um, or you don't have it extracted correctly into the folder but uh, that's all there is to it and like I said if you have any problems or you get stuck um, hopefully you know just giving you a little list here to read for your walkthrough or the video that I did earlier reprogramming um, 
the versa maybe between the two of them you know it'll give you the confidence or or help you out in some way with programming nissans um yeah so if you have any uh questions just uh, comment below or send me a message and uh if you notice i respond quickly so thanks again for watching and hope this helped you out